Welcome back everybody. It's Jeff again with another Walk with Jeff episode here on J&K State in Vegas. Today's episode is going to focus on some of the places, hotels, restaurants that you've probably heard of and you're like, where exactly is that? So this walk is going to be for you. And of course, these are really good for your bicycle rides at home or your treadmills. We do these 30 minutes uninterrupted, unedited, so you can take advantage of that. And if you just want to prop your feet on the couch, you can do that too. So we're just east of the Las Vegas Strip. And you can see Tuscany Hotel and Casino is right there. It's just literally two blocks, two long blocks that is, east of the Las Vegas Strip. You can see the high roller over there and the Flamingo and Caesars Palace. But let's get this walk started here. Here we go. This is the corner of Flamingo and Tuscany Casino and Howard Hughes goes the other way. Howard Hughes was a big part of uh, Las Vegas' sprawling suburban area like Summerlin. Over there is a restaurant called Firefly, Starbucks. And if you want to get a good look at the sphere, you can go in this parking structure right over there and you can check out the sphere. So just as a little heads up there. Got a kind of a run down roadway in over here, but it is here. I don't know how many bucks you really want to save, but it is here. And there's a residence inn by Marriott over there. Now we're gonna come down here to Flamingo in Paradise. We'll get down here in just a second where that Silver Sevens is. More to tell you about all that and the neighborhood. Want to kind of let you know what's kind of safe, what you should avoid, times of day, things like that. Again, hope you've been enjoying these Walk with Jeff episodes. Been getting a lot of positive feedback. So if you do like these, you want me to continue to make these, make sure and leave a comment below and say, awesome Jeff, or just something. Feed that old YouTube algorithm. Fogo de Chao over here. I've not tried that place. There's nothing in these empty lots over here, but right beyond this, right over there, is where they store all the F1 bridges, all that stuff that was invading our lives. That's just right over there, right next to Virgin Hotel. We'll check that out in a little bit. You got a little shopping center here with Panera Bread, Chipotle, things like that. Again, these videos are done in 4K, so make sure you turn those YouTube settings on, because sometimes YouTube doesn't presents it in really bad quality. So make sure you turn on to 4K. If your internet can't handle it, at least to 1080. That'll especially be good just to get the most color, the most benefit out of it. You will see there is a lot of homeless down here. When we get down by Virgin, you'll see uh, part of the tunnels that you may have heard about where all the homeless people sleep that's right over there but it goes way underneath the strip and everything else so that's why this area can get a little unsavory at times but i'll kind of fill you in on all that bahama breeze they got a happy hour there and we've got jamba juice over here habit burger grill if you got one of those by where you live this is right down here. 
This is still all undeveloped, all empty. Used to be something. I have to look up what this used to be because you can see the foundation here that was something. If you know what this was, let me know in the comments below if you can get that answer before me. <laughs> I hear Christina's boyfriend. So just give you an idea of also what to expect at different times of the year. We're currently at the end of March. Temperature, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, is 62 degrees. We're on the 26th of March, 2024. Chick-fil-A over there, we'll get to that in a second. But if you want another steakhouse, I'm sure you probably heard of Morton Steakhouse. That is down here at the corner of Flamingo and Paradise. Now you're really gonna notice a lot more homeless people down here. Definitely gets a little bit more dicier. You probably wouldn't want to do this at night. So across the way is the Silver 7, says late night eats for seven bucks, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. I don't know if I'd really want to come down here at that time. But this is gonna be the old Continental. They're reviving that, bringing that back. The Continental Hotel. I was actually gonna do a where's my coffee, where's my room of the Silver Sevens, because I'd never been in there before. And it is extremely small. It's literally like one room and that's it. So let's keep going. squeeze on through the cars here. So I definitely want to give you something different and again show you where some of these places you just might have heard about where they are in relation to the Las Vegas Strip. And this Chick-fil-A is relatively new. Of course they're closed on Sundays. Let me know in the comments if you like some Chick-fil-A. I've never had them before. Neither is Christina. This actually used to be a PF Chains back in the day. That closed a number of years ago. You'll usually find some homeless people, it's like across the way, you can probably barely see them, but again, that's why it can get a little dicey at night. In the daytime, it's fine. And this seagull place here has literally been abandoned for over a decade now. It says future development and nothing has ever happened. So it's quite the eyesore. Hopefully they do something with that property soon. So again, this is Paradise Road, parallels uh, the Las Vegas Strip. And if you take it all the way down, straight down, it leads you right into the airport. which is a nice convenient way. If you want to avoid the traffic on the strip, just take Paradise Road. I'll take you right in. 
but this road is absolutely horrible to drive on. It's literally pothole after pothole. You can hear everybody's tires going by. This road in particular, all the way up and down, is just gnarly nasty. Anyway. have any money on them. Always somebody trying to look for money. And then they're going to try to interrupt what I'm doing. So here's part of the tunnels down here. You definitely do not want to venture in there. Sometimes I say, yeah, it's, you know, certain things are okay. Do not, do not, do not go in the tunnels underneath Vegas. Not to mention this running water here smells horrible. So we're at one of the entrances here to Virgin, and you can still see it says Hard Rock. So it doesn't even say like East Virgin or anything. This is the Paradise Parking Garage, but it's still got the remnants of the Hard Rock. Of course, most of the existing building is still the same as the Hard Rock, but there are some new additions to Virgin. And we'll be doing a Where's My Coffee, Where's My Room of Virgin property in a future video. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. And then you'll be first alert to when we put that video out as well. So Virgin did a really nice job of doing all the landscaping here. It's a nice walkway once you get past that point of the underground tunnels. Got a random cloud above me. Weather's been a little off and on with scattered clouds and we get a teeny bit of sprinkles just to mess up the car. And right now, you can tell I'm underneath a pretty dark cloud. That's why it's a little dark there on the screen. So if you're into uh, the typical kind of bachelor, even bachelorette, centerfolds is down here. And this shopping center here has got Ferraro's, Italian Restaurante, and quite a few different really good restaurants, including Shaq's Big Chicken is down here as well. I'll show you that in a moment. But Virgin is kind of holding up to that uh, hard rock theme of having a lot of concerts here. Wu-Tang Clan just had a residency. See, Bad Religion is coming. Gary Newman is coming here. Adam Ant is coming here. So they're definitely keeping with the theme of live entertainment down here at Virgin, just like hard rock used to be. If you watched one of our previous news updates, right over here they are putting one of the tesla tunnels the boring company is already worming through the undergrounds to put a station down here at virgin we'll get a good look of virgin on the other side here but no more hard rock guitar there it's a virgin hotel sign So right over there is famous Dave's Slow Smoked Barbecue. 
There's a couple of sushi places, Capriati's, Joe's New York Pizza by Slice, really good actually. And then you got a CVS right across the street where you can get some cheap, inexpensive drinks, load up on your water bottles, all that stuff. Coming over here to the corner is Hoffer House. You've probably heard of that. Helped Jay Cation do a live stream there. He entered uh, the giant pretzel eating contest. So this is where Hoffer House is. About a half a mile east of the Las Vegas Strip. You can walk it in the middle of the day. But I would just take an Uber. And UNLV is just right down there. Campus and everything. Airplanes landing. So this right here is Harmon. You've heard me talk about Harmon quite a few times with going up the strip and being the the F1 stuff. You can see part of the campus to UNLV down there. Across the way here is uh, White Castle. And there is a 7-Eleven, a teriyaki madness, which you should try, spicy chicken, I recommend. But this 7-Eleven here, has GAF, ghetto, finish the rest. There's always something happening there. Uh, yeah, so just keep that in mind if you're staying over here at Virgin. It's not unsafe, but a lot of unsavory people kind of hang around there. So here is the outside of Virgin, if you haven't seen it before. These are all the original existing Hard Rock Hotel Towers. It's the word I want. And they have a lot of the suites in this tower over here. The Virgin is really nice in there. And again, we'll be doing a Where's My Coffee, Where's My Room of the property. So across the way is a serene quote unquote Vegas resort. I wouldn't say it's very serene. But your mileage may vary, as they say. You just see MGM Grand coming in to the background over there with New York, New York. So we're not far. See hotel, casino, valet, and ride chair over there. So if you've seen uh, a lot of my F1 coverage when I'm on the e-bike, but you're going to hear about that in an upcoming video. F1, the whole pit is up there. I don't know if we'll make it all the way up there on this walk. But again, this is to kind of show you some of the little hotels and restaurants that you may have heard of and you're just like, where the heck is that? Not to mention where Virgin is. Even people with, that go to Virgin or want to go, they don't even realize it used to be the old Hard Rock. And this street here on Harmon does get very busy, as you can see. Hoffer House right back there. Got the Alexis Park Resort Hotel. 
They got Frankly Frank says on their marquee. This hotel is surprisingly very big. It is only two levels. But it goes way, way back there. Way back there. Almost to Tropicana. That's a long way. But looking up prices for even Alexis Park, they're not saving you too much by being kind of out of the way from the strip. It's not like the prices are dirt cheap. And believe it or not, they have resort fees too. I actually did go down here on a live stream. Um, I think that was after New Year's Eve, in fact, because I wanted to show everybody that the one benefit that they did have from F1, or that actually F1 did, was increase the street lighting down here on Harmon because, well, they had to because they have an entire huge pit area and venue. So this walk used to be really quite precarious. But now they have a, the lights that they, the street lights that they have here are now, they've fixed them up, they're nice and bright. So sidewalks are bright. It's really an easy walk. But for some people it might be too far, so. You might want to just do the Uber or Lyft or a taxi. These apartments over here, these are like studios and, you know, weekly rates and everything. They are literally on the back side of the F1 pit area. I'll show you how close they are. Thankfully, F1 has not invaded us yet at the end of March here as far as putting stuff back up. But we'll keep you updated on all that, of course. Studio and one bedrooms, $99 move-in special. Got a lot of people that know how to drive. Has a nice back look of Virgin there. And you can see these tunnels we were telling you about go right underneath their parking. And that's where we came from. Let's keep going. The tunnels are even over here. She's gonna ask me for money. They got the little dog and everything.
Everybody has a sob story. 9.9 .9 chances out of 10, it's just a way to make money. So don't fall for it. Check this out. The smell coming from here. Imagine when you go and visit horses and you've got the horse poopy smell. It's five times worse, maybe six times. So here is the huge F1 pit area. Massive. But you've seen this quite a few times in some of our videos. And right across the way is Club Wyndham. So if you were uh, looking to stay there, it's just a, about a, oh, a little short walk from Flamingo, excuse me, Harmon and Koval, right there where that stoplight is. See the uh, monorail going across there. So the sidewalk is much, much improved with lighting because of all of F1. So check out that video at nighttime. Uh, it's the second part of our New Year's Eve, I believe. And you can see that's pretty well lit down this area. See people walking down this way. You can see right up through there is Aria and Vidara, but it's still a considerable distance away. We tell you to watch, watch out for, and that is the distance between hotels. They look so close. Flight in Hollywood and Paris coming into view right around the corner of F1 here. A lot of traffic comes up here on Harmon, as you can tell. It's like they're doing some improvements up there to the uh, ceiling and everything. At least it's not interrupting life outside of there. There's Horseshoe coming into view now.
what he told me. That's what he told me. And that is just about 30 minutes. It looks like my application crashed. So I don't have the exact 30 minutes to show you. But on the basis of what I've been recording on the camera, that is just about 30 minutes. So hope you've enjoyed this episode of Walk With Jeff. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Also turn on the bell notifications to be alerted to every time we post a new video just like this or when we go live, like we do every Saturday night. Definitely don't wanna miss out on anything, so hit that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. All right, everybody, until the next one, you know it. Stay safe and stay silly. Bye-bye, everybody.